So let's have a look at changing the stroke and fill color of a vector object on the iPad in Affinity Designer. Now this is particular for the iPad. As you're aware by now, the desktop is reasonably different. But let's proceed. Set up a suitable canvas and place a vector object on the canvas. Now I've used a Be Joyful um, Happy Christmas type card thing I've got there. But this can be your own drawing or a simple design to use for this exercise like that. A three page book that I've made. It's just vector lines drawn around there and all converted to curves and pulled out to look like the pages of a book. Very simple to do. So let's look at changing the colours in an existing shape such as the card that we've got here. This You could print this out in um, sublimation or Christmas card printing, anything like that, but you want different colours. The bauble is currently blue, obviously, but let's say we want it to be red. Now you can see I've expanded the um, layers column there. You've got all the elements of the image because it is, after all, a vector file. Right? Find the layer on the layer panel and highlight it. This is the effect of selecting that layer no other layer is selected and you can see that the bauble has now got the blue bounding lines all around it. We're not going to actually alter that and just make sure that if it's um, a layer within a layer like that one you can see it's added to the first part. It's in a very very small group. There's a reason for that but we won't go into that but you've got the bauble selected not the group. If you select the group, the colour thing will behave differently. In fact, it won't behave at all. So make sure you're colouring the bauble, you've got the bauble itself selected, not the group it's in. Go to the colour wheel next and you'll see that the selected colour is the object's colour. Ignore the stroke colour for now, that's the little round donut just sort of hiding behind the blue circle there. That's the donut shaped circle. It's partnered with the fill colour circle. And it's the fill colour we want. If there is, in fact, a stroke there around that circle, it will be black, but it's so fine it may be zero or just one pixel. So we can't see it at the moment. And that's just the way we want it. Now we can easily change the bauble colour to red. So just select red from the colour wheel and the fill for the selected layer turns red. So you just move your cursor across, click on the red and bingo, there's a red bauble. Let's see this in action. The short clip will play and show the colour changing. There it goes. And there we go. Red bauble in the layer. It's no longer blue, it's now red. Just the way you want it. So, let's make the J of Joyful a nice bright tiger colour, shall we? And you can see that it's changing as it goes around. Did I search for the right colour? Yes, there it is. It's a kind of a yellow. But if it's a joyful card for a child or something, you can make those colours anything you like. Now let's look at something more complex, shall we? Look at the word part of full. So it's B-J-O-Y-F-U-L. It's all one word really, but for a bit of fun, it's been broken up. and We want the full part. It has no stroke, so let's give it one. See the stroke element at the top there? It's got the line through it, means it's no colour. So there's effectively no stroke, but let's give it a stroke. Set the stroke width to 5 pixels. 
So you just go into the stroke element there and move it out to say 5 pixels. You can't see anything yet because it's still black. You can see the black colours out there on the side. But set the colour to green. You can see green's one of the recent colours I've got down there. So I've just clicked on the green colour or move the triangle around in the circle. Either way, just like you did with the bauble, and you can change the stroke to green. You've now got a green border around a black fill. Very nice. Now let's have a clearer look at this action with our blank book exercise. As I mentioned before, you can reasonably see there's three pages there. The book is standing on end and the word book kind of placed on the front front cover of one book. Now this one we're going to start with the back page. So I've selected the back page in the layers panel. Simply select each page in turn in the layer panel and select the colour to suit it. So I've selected the back page, gone to the colour wheel, the fill part and selected a colour for the back page. It looks like the whole thing is now gone that greenish bluish colour. Not too sure what colour you'd call that but it's quite bright and very nice. But we want the middle page to be a different colour. And there we go. The middle page is now yellow. And of course it looks like the front page is too. But if you look down the bottom you can see I've only got the middle page selected. And it's yellow. Now we go to the front page and change that to blue. That's a blue page. Simple. So now you've got a three coloured page book and it does give it a bit of depth. If you wanted to fiddle a bit that a bit as a drawing you can add shadows, you can add shading. Um, and that book is simply a rectangle drawn on the, on the canvas. Converted to curves and the tops pulled over a little bit like well thumb pages. There's the layer panel showing all the pages. There's the word book, which is not converted to curves. I haven't I didn't bother with that, I just wanted the text in there. The rectangle around it's converted to curves, so I could pull it around into shape. If it's just a rectangle, you can't shape it unless you're actually working on the um, isometric grid. And I didn't want to get into that complex complexity here. We're just colouring. And with a red border around the front page, just added a little bit more to it. Changed the black border to a red one. Now, just for fun, let's add a kangaroo. Quick drawing of a kangaroo using the pen tool. Took all the all the. Um, outlines right around so it closes up the shape and then just click brown. So it's one layer. And almost there, an object from down at the, and you can see the object um, left of the book and below the crop tool is a star there. Well I selected a star, dragged it out, set the fill to zero and set the outline or the stroke to red and you've now got a red star. Simple as that. Make that any size you like, change it to a curve, alter it, do what you like with it. And that's about all there is to colouring. Thanks for watching. I hope that's helped.